Welcome to Susanna's new podcast interview series where we speak with our most recent Susanna Discussion Forum featured user. I'm Rosalind Graham, moderator of the Susanna Thematic Discussions and part of the Susanna Secretariat. And today I'll be speaking with our Susanna Discussion Forum featured user for May 2015, Pawan Ya from India. Pawan has been working for over 28 years in the fields of sanitation, biogas, and wastewater treatment in rural and urban areas in India and other developing countries. He has been the general director of the Sulab International Academy of Environmental Sanitation for more than two decades. During this time, he has worked extensively with on-site and low-tech treatment technologies and biogas and energy production from human waste. In addition, mm-hmm. Pawan is the chairman of the NGO Foundation for Environment and Sanitation in Delhi, which has a particular focus on decentralized sanitation plants which produce biogas from waste. Pawan mm-hmm. has presented and published several papers, and most recently, in April of this year, he wrote the manuscript for the Handbook on Technical Options for Solid and Liquid Waste Management in Rural Areas, which was released in April 2015 by the Ministry of Drinking Water and Sanitation through the Government of India. We are happy to say that Pawan has been a registered Susanna member for almost two and a half years since December 2012, and in this time he has made over 60 posts on the Susanna Discussion Forum. So hi Pawan, and welcome and thank you for joining us for this podcast today. First of all, I'd like to say congratulations on being Susanna's featured user. And I'll get started with the questions so we can find out a bit more about you and the work that you do. So welcome. So I'll get started with the first question. Yeah. You come from a background in microbial biochemistry. Uh, What led you to this original path of study and then what brought you to work in the sanitation sector? Yeah. Oh, it is a quite interesting. And uh, when I did my PhD from Patna University, in fact, I had submitted my thesis at the time, in the year 1986, then I got an opportunity under the project uh, funded by, at the time, Ministry of Non-Conventional Energy Sources, Government of India. The project was on optimization of design of biogas plant, biogas generation from human excreta. At the time, it was a very new subject. Uh, biogas was a new subject at the time, particularly from human excreta. I was at the time very, very frank, I was hesitant to what to do with the human excreta after doing PhD. But my boss, my uh, supervisor or professor, he insisted me for because it is a human excreta and uh, your, my uh, thesis was practically on uh, microbial biochemistry. And biogas generation is also from uh, microbiochemistry is the main part of the so far generation of biogas is a concern. Then I uh, took part in the research, and uh, it was very uh, not very good in the sense my friends and relatives used to laugh at me after doing PhD. What is he doing with the toilet or the human excreta? But fortunately, the design that I developed in the year 86 to 89 after three years. It was approved by the government of India, Ministry of Non-Conventional Energy Sources, under its financial support for implementation in different states. Different states, I mean, all over India. So while doing this research work, then I saw the design of toilets uh, in the campus of Sula. There were two designs of two big toilets, least big toilets. Then I was very interested with the design because my background is rural and uh, I had never seen at the time, uh, or rarely there were two toilets in some uh, homes, in some houses, in uh, villages. Then I uh, went through the design. In, in the meantime, I got one game book, uh, by, uh, book written by Wagner, you know, way back in 1958. The book was written, it was published by WHO. It was human excreta disposal in a small and rural communities. And that book contained the full design and uh, implementation of this technology. I went through the book, I went through the design. Then first thing, when I, after a few months, when I went to my village, then I provided training to some masons in the village about the design. But this design was very, very new to them. 
and they said that it is very simple design we can construct toilet then it was uh, some social and uh, recognition i got I, i should say in my village that uh, after getting the design i trained some mason it was the first uh, uh, step in the field of sanitation in that in 86 later on i developed the design and other things it came later on a lot of developments were there development of new technology in the field of uh, waste water then biogas then composting everything but it was the first thing that i saw the stupid toilet design in 86 it was important yeah and so you mentioned that you have a rural upbringing how do you feel that that continues yeah. to impact your work that you do now and um how did that impact your work in general in sanitation now there is a lot of differences uh, in what i saw in 86 87 and today in 86 uh, sanitation coverage was only 3% national average was only 3% now it is uh, 40% or 41% at the time uh, i remember uh, sanitation was not regarded even as a health need problem in a society particularly in rural areas because people are were not aware of any technology that's why there was a major problem and uh, now there is a lot of awareness is there economic condition has improved a lot in rural areas also and more important thing is those who live in urban areas in rural background people those who live in urban area when they go to the urban uh, rural areas then they insist uh, to their parents and uh, other uh, members to have a toilet that's why there is a lot of difference now in but uh, again the main problem is a psychological taboo in indian condition that still exist uh, psychological taboo due to human state uh, people lot of there are some states still they they do not like to discuss about uh, toilet or sanitation while having breakfast and food and lunch and dinner they avoid even talking about sanitation during such during this period the so psychological taboo exists today also but there is a lot of improvement that we can say yeah. and do you, do you feel that you have seen a shift or an impact from the growing open defecation free movement in in India and does this impact your work that you are doing now in terms of the taboo towards sanitation and people's perceptions towards towards working in sanitation yeah yeah, yeah. no in indian condition this uh, odf or uh, previously it was nba program tsc program then nba now it is sbd program there was not much difference between uh, tsc that was started in 86 87 then came to um, this one um, nva program in 2000 practically there was no difference between the two programs for all practical purposes now on from last uh, october 2014 october our prime minister started this swachh bharat mission sbd program and because this program was started at the, in a big way by our prime minister who is very very active very very efficient no problem that's why it appears that uh, i'm not confident that the goal will be achieved by 2019 it's very very challenging but definitely there is a lot of acceleration in the program in different stages in states and at center level yeah. and um, i hope uh, not very confident to achieve the goal by 19 within 5 years it's not a easy task but uh, there is a lot of improvement we can say mm-hmm. and now people uh, in even in urban rural areas get talk about open defecation free uh, gram panchayat or villages they talk about and they do there are some but there are some limitation because india is a huge country and uh, you can one can find all sections of socio cultural and economic groups or sections of people in rural areas so that's why there are some sections they are very active they can afford to have a toilet there are still below poverty line people and they can really they can't afford toilet and they they need support financial support from the government and government has this type of program to provide financial support to all sections of people 
now the program has incorporated uh, several sections altogether it covers about 90 to 95% population households of the rural areas under the subsidy program or financial support program so i think uh, i am confident mm -hmm. that uh, the goal will be achieved but not within 5 days 5 years it may take more years mm -hmm. And what do you see as one of the most important technologies for the sanitation landscape in India in the next coming years? And in addition to that, what do you think would be the barriers to implementing certain technologies? So for sanitation technology, household toilet sanitation is a concern. Leach bit technology or two bit uh, uh, technology is prevalent in India. And because it is low cost, and uh, point number two, there are technologies uh, that are, but least bit, this technology is not suitable for high water table and the coastal areas and rocky areas. And But unfortunately, this technology is being implemented in areas where water table is very high, like in Bihar, um, Odisha, and the West Bengal coastal areas like that. But no, now the people and local government, they realize the fact that there is a chance of groundwater pollution and uh, one should select uh, environmentally sustainable technologies. That, that point is coming up uh, in the mind of people. And now the guidelines of government of India, it also describes that environmentally sustainable centers and technologies should be selected for a particular area, um, keeping in view the water table of that area. That's the important part. But um, most in most of the cases, still the same thing, same technology is going on. Only last month, I completed one consultancy. It was funded by World Bank. It was for the technical assessment of sanitation program in West Bengal state. West Bengal is one of the largest states in India. It is uh, one border is uh, West Bengal the country. Now, one border is uh, Bangladesh. There also the point was highlighted. Now, I highlighted this point that the technology your sanitation coverage is much better in comparison to other states. But in the case in the state uh, groundwater pollution, groundwater is very high and they are implementing, they are implementing uh, the stupid technology. The state government realized the fact. And uh, they insisted me. Dr. Jha kindly put this point, highlight this point, and we'll do something to select another technology that uh, there, where there is a least chance or no chance of groundwater pollution. So that's one part. And uh, eco technology, definitely, I, I did try to implement eco technology in some states. But uh, fortunately or unfortunately, most of the Indians, they use water for cleaning during toilet. That's why they say that uh, this technology is not suitable for us. That's the important part, important uh, problem with implementing other technologies. But there are technologies. Uh, recently, I wrote one book, uh, and the technology that mentions other technologies also in addition to single pit toilet or double pit toilet. Yeah. And which research topics do you feel should be further discussed and need to be expanded upon in the sanitation field? And there are two important points. So for uh, household sanitation toilet, sanitation, there are options uh, for sustainable technologies that have least uh, or no effect on the health and environment for household toilets. Those technologies need to be disseminated by the government of India or the state governments. Point number two, in a rural area, the, in most of the cases, there is no system or no mechanism for treatment of wastewater. There is no. Of course, in under government of India program, program is there, financial support is there, but practically the program is not being implemented in states for wastewater treatment. 
one can find a waste water diffused anywhere in a village that uh, helps the breeding of mosquitoes and malaria diseases and everything is there. So there are technologies. The book that I wrote and it was published by the government of last month only, that book contains uh, ab about six or seven such technologies for treatment of wastewater, on-site treatment of wastewater. Now it is up to the government or the state government that uh, they should disseminate those technologies. They should uh, provide capacity building and training at the district level or the state level for adoption of those technologies. It is a bit challenging, but I do hope uh, I can do it. Uh, in, case of, sorry, in case of solid waste, uh, of course, it is also a problem, but um, solid waste, is rural areas, my experience is uh, biodegradable waste uh, is very, very low quantity in case of rural areas. Because all those waste, uh, biodegradable, like kitchen waste or material waste, yeah, they are all used as a as a you know, fodder for animals. They have cows and buffaloes. The only thing is uh, they have plastic waste and non biodegradable waste they have most of the cases. But there is no such device, no technology. Practically, there is no such uh, in program implementation of the program in rural areas. Yeah, to make it Swachh Bharat Clean India by 2019, government needs to take up all those, all these issues at the front line. And for that purpose, a lot of infrastructure and manpower and training power will be required. And such type of infrastructure is lacking in almost all states in India. That's the important part, important challenge. Okay. And do you feel that Susanna has a role as well to further expand the needed research in in the sanitation field? Oh, this is an important question. Important in the sense the government of India has made a, I'm giving a slight background to let you know a bit better. The government of India has a program to establish a national institute of science and hygiene. Government of India, I mean Ministry of Drinking Water and Sanitation has uh, made a program and is working on that line. They are working on that line to establish one institute named as the National Institute of Sanitation and Hygiene. And I was in the meeting, one meeting at the, for this program. Then I was asked by some members that Dr. Zuha, you know, is there any institute uh, doing research on sanitation in India? The answer was no. Mm. I'm still confident, with confident like they say, there is no such institute in India working in the field of sanitation. R&D, I mean, R&D. It's mm. very sad. When I started R&D way back in 86, further there is no research work. There are a lot of research work is required in the field, lot of. I'm telling a simple example. You can find, there are many papers that uh, travel of uh, pathogens from pit latrine. What is the distance? I mean, what is the safe distance from pit latrine to uh, drinking water source? There are references. Some say 10 meters, some say 20 meters, even some say 10 feet also. But uh, I have not seen any practical research. All these figures are on theoretical basis. Theoretical measurement, not practical measurement. There is no research work in the field of sanitation practically in India, I can say. That is the, one of the major obstacles in this area. In this area. Lot of research work. Uh, of course, uh, you have a lot of. I have a. I had a good relation with uh, 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 environmental scientists and institute like ESI in mm -hmm. Stockholm and other fields. There are a lot of institutes uh, in Germany, particularly in European countries, but in India we don't have. Okay. 
And and what was your motivation to originally register with Susanna? You've been registered since the end of 2012. Um, what? How did you hear about Susanna, and what was your reason to join? Yes, when I was in the ministry in 2012, then the, there were four or five uh, my colleagues went there. We all were from different areas. In the same person, I was with technical side and other automotive. Uh, this one, uh, evaluation and motivation, evaluation and monitoring. Then there was a discussion. Frequently we meet together. We all meet four or five years. Then there was a discussion. There is one side, there is a son, there is a side of professionals. Now, immediately, then we all, uh, one person, one of my friend was already registered with this son. Immediately. We opened and got it registered and found it very, very useful. And in fact, uh, for two or three months, uh, I could not post any uh, any information because I, but, it, but in this thing, I forgot my password. Oh no. It was, or uh, my my email was drpkjhyahoo.com. Again, I registered with my another uh, email uh, at the dr Pawan's head. Then when I tried, then pass, password was mixed up. It, it took about two months. Then I'm thankful to Mrs. Elizabeth. Uh, I have mailed it her. What is the problem? Then he, she clarified. You have two accounts, one PKJ, another Pavanja. You have two passwords. You are trying <laughs> one password to another password. <laughs> then then she, she combined my both them. Okay. Both then send me. Now it is okay. Now this, one, this is your password. <laughs> it's a matter of 2012, perhaps. It was me or Zoom. After that, I, I was very, very relieved with the system. And do you feel that Susanna has expanded your network and put you in contact definitely, with... Definitely, definitely, definitely. I'm very, very thankful. And uh, for not only Susanna, Secretary and Susanna, there are some members really I appreciate them. Uh, they always uh, take part in the discussion. Not only discussion, but uh, they do a lot of uh, homework. They do, um, before they, they put any um, post on the site, and I'm very thankful and very informative and uh, important it is. But I this is only active forum in the field of sanitation. I'm also a member of the other forums, but uh, this forum is really very, very active. I'm very, very thankful to you people, your secretary and everything. Really, you are doing well. And do you have any suggestions for other members of how to use the forum? Maybe some, maybe how you use the forum um, to read the categories or articles? Yeah. Yeah, I can say something simple. Not very uh, simple, one, but simple one. Because this, this is, forum is for all. There are some members, they are very, very active. There are some members they try to post some something to let other people know that he or she is also working in the field. That's a purpose. That's a not a very important. I have seen some post uh, that they put on uh, site that is they develop C or C develop and put like that. And if you ask any question, sometimes then they sometimes they forget it to reply to members again those questions. And there are some problems, three or four I have seen. They did not respond uh, after four or five months. And for a major, there is no such major suggestion. It is, it is being very, very well, no problem. Suggestions, suggestions are uh, for maybe some members of the forum. Because um, that, uh, or you can't control. We can't control all those members. That's uh, again a uh, common point. Uh, of course, it is, because it is a very huge forum, some members may be very active, some not very active, and uh, that is part of the forum mm. that we can't control. And But uh, on an average, I see that uh, all the members are professionals in this field. They are, uh, they are not the fake members, we can't say like that. But it's up to the members to take forum in a the right way to take some advantage out of the forum. That is my own intention. Whatever, whenever I do something, I have some knowledge, 
I can, I will can, I, I should try to disseminate the knowledge for the benefit of our other members and collect information from other members for the benefit of the citizen uh, sectors, at least um, for our country and other developing countries. That should be kept in mind for all the members. And uh, I'm very, very, there are some people from, I can say, in Pakistan and Bangladesh also in this area. They are doing very well. And are there any any topics or themes that you hope will be more strongly incorporated into the Susanna Forum in the future? Yeah. Because Susanna Forum uh, main uh, uh, topic of discussion is about household toilets. Like in last month, there was a lot of discussion for. Uh, a compost toilet and what is the compost, how it should be defined. And um, for this uh, type of discussion, they took uh, more than two weeks, uh, I think. Uh, and a final output, I should not say like that, that there is no output. Output was there, but uh, it was not in proportion with the discussion of uh, time of discussion. Two weeks is very too long time for a profession, for so many professions. So that's the one balance, one subject, the balance, uh, how much should be the time for discussion, for uh, what type of topics. And the important thing is uh, wastewater treatment and septage. Um, they are not getting much focus. Of course, septage, there are uh, topics, there are two or three times it came to discussion for a long time. That's fine. That I can say there was a seminar on septic in Vietnam and it was well discussed. Uh, that's uh, good. And like decentralized wastewater treatment in different areas. That's the reason it is not getting much attention for decentralized wastewater treatment uh, in different uh, soil condition or environmental condition. So that type of uh, should be there. But I'm not taking that, uh, talking like that, uh, it, is, um, it has not been taken. It has been taken, I have seen several times. But it is not as discussed as uh, like uh, uh, the, uh, the household toilet. Household toilet, there is a lot of discussions every time. And uh, awareness and motivation and evaluation and monitoring. In India, you can see that uh, it is very, very important that I've discussed several times. Uh, in Indian program and the SDG program, there is almost complete lack of, of uh, our uh, evaluation and monitoring of the program at the state level and center level also. The such type of evaluation and monitoring, if uh, on project basis, there are discussion in Susana also. On project basis, if it is implemented by certain companies and certain NGOs that they provide there is a motivation awareness and uh, sorry um, uh, a, 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 uh, evaluation and monitoring are there but at center level or a state level as a whole there is a almost complete lack of evaluation and monitoring of the program that type of discussion should be there at Susana forum because unless there is the evaluation, government provides fund, provides everything, but uh, unless there is a proper evaluation of the program, the output may or may not be as the desired output. Like that. And do you feel that um, what kind of structural um, changes or is there anything that you feel that could uh, change with the discussion forum to incorporate ways to specifically discuss issues in India or in the regions that you're working. Do you feel that the, the forum at the moment is able to address the the regional the regional issues that that you would like to discuss within India? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There are two three points uh, I'd like to discuss uh, regarding our country. Uh, first is, uh, as I said earlier, the leach pit toilet is uh, predominantly, or you can say up to 99%, 98% in cases there are leach pit toilet, where the toilet, where is no sewer. 
it is severe there is no problem but in rural areas there we don't have severe it is 3 or 4% only but this lichpit toilet is being implemented in hilly areas also in rocky areas also in uh, high water table also in coastal areas everywhere the guidelines of the government of india whether it is urban or rural that does not prohibit implementation of lich peat in these areas and people implement it now the point of discussion is what should be the next technology better than lich peat toilet in those areas there is a point point is to be discussed or at a higher level or professional level not higher professional level this point is important the challenging point is those technologies should be cost effective because when government is providing subsidy and financial support for the toilet but in most of the cases people think that this is the cost of the toilet and then they try to find out the solution within the cost fact is this is a subsidy financial support in rural areas i have seen several areas rural areas people have better quality of housing they have two wheelers and even four wheelers their children are enrolled in public school but they don't have toilet mm. because the government has not given money that's why i don't have toilet the simple answer is the such type of mindset needs to be completely changed now the point is how such point needs to be discussed at the forum at the different level at the state level or village level or district level for me for based on my own experience lack of toilet is not a technical issue at all not a financial issue at all at least in most of the cases is the issue of mindset that's a major problem and for me of course the government of india and other people don't uh, would like to hear about it to provide a financial subsidy direct subsidy to all the households is a major hindrances in the program of sanitation because mindset is only 2 years back 1 year back government was providing 4600 rupees subsidy 4600 means uh, it should be it about 70 us dollar now the subsidy has increased to 12000 rupees many people realize think that in the coming years quantity of subsidy quantum of subsidy will increase further that's why they do not consider quality this is the mindset 10 years before the subsidy amount was only 600 rupees 14 years before the depth of mindset is subsidy mindset that's why there is a subsidy is causing a major problem with the sanitation program because what is the problem a person has two wheelers or four wheelers i have seen person having four wheelers there in the family members girls or ladies they even girls and ladies they go defecation in open because government has not provided subsidy for them to them this is the real fact the forum needs to discuss all these points the technical issues and the, this the social issues technical issues for hilly areas and mountain areas rocky areas what should be the appropriate technology apart from to put toilet okay and do you feel that the current structure of the discussion forum allows the potential for these these discussions to take place on the forum mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. do you have any oh, these points should be discussed these points should be discussed 
that uh, two months back uh, i posted similar article uh, on this uh, sasana and i remember uh, dr mutugal mutugal he is from pakistan he said dr zak can you write uh, one page of different technologies what the advantage this advantage limitations of all those technologies and applicability of course i was not in delhi i was away from here but after that i, I replied in one page that that type of uh, it should be there and uh, based on the discussion i think uh, susana secretary should also try to write letter to the concerned ministry of the state of the country those who are concerned with the sanitation with these are the based on the guidelines that you have you might have the guidelines of the uh, urban and rural ministry or that i can provide you that uh, susana secretary can suggest to the government of india or other uh, governments also is it government that uh, if you do something like such and such it will help your uh, program or acceleration of the program or adoption adoption and uh, acceptance of the program in different communities that is on the end and for before right secretary then a, a topic discussion topics should be fixed by sustana secretary itself Let's suppose uh, in these area like uh, rocky areas and uh, uh, high water table areas and uh, coastal area the toilet is not suitable that's fine that agreed then what are the technologies suitable and sustainable technologies after this discussion then susana secretary can write one detail letter to the concerned ministry that your technology is kindly modify your guidelines that don't implement this technology at high water table there is a lot of chances of groundwater pollution and this effect will be a very very serious effect on health and environment i think the type of interaction intervention by susana can can be done by susana secretary to minister what i can say now at present we discuss a particular topic for two weeks and three weeks what are the, what is the conclusion of the whole this discussion it remains only the dissemination information exchange to one to another i think if based on the information there should be a moderator we have already uh, and i know all these persons they are very very senior they are very very highly here the based on the moderator can compile discussion and uh, put before the uh, ministry of urban development rural, de- uh, rural development this is our discussion this is your guidelines and uh, based on discussion guidelines is uh, not very very suitable due to such and such uh, adverse effect of implementation of the climate technology kindly do it in this way that session what get put can i get it approve the government to follow or not to follow that's not a problem but one can suggest and that before suggest we have a lot of background a lot of lot of uh, other materials to convince the government that i think is like uh, separate management in urban development urban area in india as on date there is no not a single site for this separate management not a single example no not very no not a single example we have a lot of discussion with the forum there is one project in uh, telangana state newly stated it is it is a technical support uh, is provided by bigger foundation when where i provided for the separate management where i provided the design drawing everything of course the project has not been started i hope in this month uh, it will start if it starts perhaps this will be the first project the susana secretary can request not request can recommend for implementation of septage management because there are so many problems with the septage and everything that we uh, everybody knows that type of uh, outcome i think outcome of the discussion it should be till date we don't have outcome very precise outcome we don't have we have a discussion that's fine that is going on that is the exchange of ideas only what is the final outcome 
on this line uh, i think uh, the circuit can think it over we have a lot of, of uh, such uh, i know very well professional they have so we can think and as the last question from our interview today, what piece of advice do you have for students and young professionals who are working in and wanting to get involved in the sanitation work and the sanitation field? Mm -hmm. oh, there are a lot of chances. <laughs> and uh, there are a lot of chances. There. If we invite young professionals and motivate them, that their thinking angles, sometimes they are sometimes different. And from the different angles, they think about the issues, and sometimes they come with a different solutions also. Because our age is at this age when we think about one norm, set norms, we can think on this line also. But young professors, they take it uh, always from different angles, and sometimes they can give you some better idea there that line we do not normally think. The young professionals definitely want to encourage, encourage those professionals to come. And I have seen several people, several members that uh, they discuss and they come forward where they are from MBA, from better uh, institutes, and they think about, uh, about uh, sanitation and toilet all day. It is not on those in 1986 time, it is early 80s. When people you know, to taunt at me that I am doing on research on human sanitation, but young professionals should should be encouraged definitely. Mm -hmm. I've been favor for that. Great. Mm -hmm. So thank uh, you. I'm, I'm, oh. giving one, I'm giving one example on decentralized wastewater treatment. Mm -hmm. I know engineering. I have developed decentralized treatment of wastewater technology also two technologies that are very reactive. And those uh, one person who was chief engineer, very, very senior to me, and uh, he used to ask me, Dr. Jha, your background is microbiology, mm -hmm. and decentralized wastewater is always uh, microbial activity. So that's why I learned engineering from him. He learned microbiology from me. Mm -hmm. That's why technology was better. In most of the cases, the field is for the engineers. And engineers have little knowledge about uh, microbiology. Mm -hmm. They are not concerned with the microbiology. That's why they sometimes fail. But if a young scientist, young professional comes, they will think it. What is microbiology? What is engineering? They can combine it and they can have a very, very good result. Mm -hmm. Great. So thank you very much for your time today, Pawan, and we look forward to hearing more from you on the Susanna Forum and learning about your experiences with biogas sanitation and all your experiences that you've had in India. Yeah. So thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.